let's talk about physical franchises now. And most of us know these examples, McDonald's, Burger King, Curves, Five Guys, Baja Fresh. I mean, these are brands that we're all very well aware of, especially in the United States. These have massive strengths, but uh, when, whenever you have really high strengths, there's also opportunities for very low weaknesses or very high weaknesses. So um, the strengths, just like virtual franchises, is you can benefit from the brand and the training and the marketing that comes along with that. Um, but what physical locations also contribute is uh, they are actually part of a community. And so they can take it a step further and build relationships in the community and have loyal followers. And you'll get this, even though I get this around town, if there's some place I go frequently, they know when I walk in the door what I want because I'm a loyal follower. Um, they're easy to access because they are local. And it's high touch, right? You're like right there with the customer. You can find out what they want, what they don't want, what they aren't happy about. And, um, and in this case, you know, McDonald's, for example, does all the national and worldwide advertising. You just have to worry about local. And so local advertising is always fairly cheap. The difficult part is in the weakness section, brick and mortar. You get physical issues, you know. You can have plumbing issues. You can have electricity outages. You can have a car can drive through your building. I mean, all these things that you can't plan for and that all costs money to maintain. Um, and the market can get saturated. Um, McDonald's, 7-Eleven, Starbucks, I mean, there's, they're, they're on every corner in some of the cities that we live in. And so how do you differentiate yourself? And you have to really make sure that your physical, physical location is pristine, right? You don't want it to be uh, looking downtrodden in any way, but along with that, there's got to be easy ways for people to enter and exit those locations or they're going to move on to something else. Um, there is a high-end upfront investment. I think McDonald's sometimes, the franchise is just like a million or a couple million to get into, um, whereas a Curves, for example, might be in the ten to $20,000 range as an upfront investment. And then there's a high ongoing investment for some of these because um, you have to pay the bills of electricity and rent and um, employee salaries, opportunities. Um, you hear stories all the time. I know Baja Fresh, that it was just on a show where, you know, someone was taking on more and more franchises as they learned how to run their store better. Or not more and more, yeah, more and more stores. And so they can benefit when the brand is going well, right? They can leverage that and continue to grow their customer base at one store or acquire more stores. But the flip side is also true. If there's something wrong with the national brand, they will suffer the consequences. Also, if a market changes, like with Borders um, and Barnes & Noble, uh, it, the market changes. <laughs> and you're stuck with physical locations. You're stuck with a lot of inventory, maybe. And so those can be threats to your business. So those are some of the ups and downs to think about with a physical franchise.